am a driver for DoorDash. This happened just a couple of months ago. It was a Thursday night and I was working late. I typically worked until 2 a.m. on Thursdays and it would be a pretty good money making night for me. It was late and I was almost done, but at about 1.30 in the morning, I got an order to pick up. It was at McDonald's and it was just a medium drink. It seemed a little weird to me that somebody would have just a drink from McDonald's delivered, but I wasn't going to question it. I went to McDonald's and picked it up, then I drove to the destination. It wasn't that far, between 5 and 10 minutes away, but when I got into the neighborhood, I could see that it wasn't the best area. The houses looked very run down and old, and the grass in most yards was very long. I turned onto a dead end road and finally reached the address. It was at the end of the dead end and I could barely see the house because of how dark it was combined with how many trees they had in the yard. There was a wood surrounding the house and no street lights or house lights. I slowly stopped my car and got out. I looked around. It was very quiet. I walked to the end of the driveway of the house and looked down it. It was skinny, but fairly long. It had pine needles and sticks all over it and looked like it didn't get much use. I looked down and saw the house and then I began walking. I got about 10 feet down the driveway and then I heard the branches in a tree next to me start to move. Immediately when I heard the sound, I knew it couldn't have been an animal and had to be a human. Without even thinking, I placed the drink on the ground, turned around and ran back to my car. As I was running, I heard movement behind me, but I didn't stop to look. I ran all the way back to my car and got inside. When I did, I immediately started my engine and the lights to my car came on. Out of my windshield, I saw in front of my car about 30 feet away, there were three men. They were not chasing me anymore, but they were just standing at the end of the driveway looking at me. Then one of them turned and threw the McDonald's drink at my car. It hit the ground about five feet in front of my vehicle. I backed up my car and drove away. I hope I don't have to deliver to that neighborhood again. A couple of years back, I worked as a Postmates delivery driver on the weekends. I lived in a city at the time, so I could ride my bike to make the deliveries. I liked it because I could get more exercise. One night on a nice Friday night in the summer, I was working for a few hours. I remember it was sunny and warm. At about 8 p.m., I got a delivery for an order of a sub restaurant. I rode my bike and picked it up, and then I rode to the address. When I arrived at the address, it was an apartment building on the edge of the city next to a park. I got off my bike and walked up to the front door. After a couple of minutes went by and nobody came, I texted the man and said I was there. A few seconds later, I got a response. He asked if I could bring it up to his room on the second floor and he said he would buzz me in. I didn't mind at all and I said that I would. The man let me in and I walked up the stairs to the second floor and to the room he told me. I knocked on the door. The man opened it and smiled. He seemed very friendly. He said thank you to me and mentioned that he would give me a nice tip. Then I heard a woman's voice say thank you as well coming from inside the room. I said no problem and I left. Then I walked back down and outside of the apartment to my bike and continued with my deliveries for the evening. About two hours later, I got another delivery near the same area and my route took me past that same park. But as I rode past the apartment building, I noticed an ambulance and several police cars outside of it. I was going to ignore it and ride past when I caught a glimpse of the man that I had delivered to. He was being led into a cop car. I had to stop my bike quick and ask what happened. I didn't get much information but I did hear that a man had nearly killed a woman. Later, when I went home, I found out that the very same man I had delivered to 
was with a woman that night that he met for the first time and he tried to force himself on the woman and she resisted. That started a struggle between them and the woman ended up breaking her arm and being knocked unconscious. The man was arrested and the woman was taken to the hospital. It's crazy to me that I delivered to them and they both seemed so happy just a few hours before. When I was a senior in high school, I worked as a pizza delivery boy. It was a pretty good paying job with tips and I enjoyed it a lot. One night on a Friday, I was working and got a delivery for one pizza to a house on the other end of town. I made the drive to the house, which took about 10 minutes, and then I arrived. I stepped out of the car and started to walk up to the house. It was a small and average looking house kind of old, nothing eye-catching. I walked to the front door, but when I got there, I noticed a post-it note stuck to the door that said to use the back. I walked around to the back door of the house, which was located in the center of the house in front of a small fenced backyard with a little patio on it. I was about to knock on the door when I saw another post-it note. It said, please bring pizza inside. Now this made me a little bit uncomfortable, but I decided to go in anyways. I could hear music playing from inside the house. When I opened the door, I saw what appeared to be a kitchen. It was pretty empty though. There was no food or plates out, but on the kitchen table near the door, there was a Bluetooth speaker that was playing music. I started to place the pizza box on the table, and I saw yet another sticky note posted there. It said, bring pizza downstairs and I will give you your tip. I looked to the end of the kitchen and saw an open doorway with a staircase leading to a very dark basement. This is where I had to draw the line in my head. I decided I would have to skip the tip on this one and I was not going to go down the stairs. I left the pizza on the table and started to walk away to leave. But then the music on the speaker stopped playing and a deep man's voice started speaking on it and said, stop. Then it said, why don't you come downstairs? I wasn't going to stay there any longer and I quickly opened the door and left. When I did, I could hear the deep man's voice laughing. I ran back to my car and drove all the way back to the restaurant. A few weeks later when I was working, I got a delivery, and when I started driving, I noticed it was the address of that creepy house again. I really did not want to go back there, but it was my job, and I didn't want to tell my boss I was scared, so I continued driving. Once I arrived, I took a good look at the house. I could see a note was on the door again. I sat in my car for a good minute, hyping myself up to go back to the house. I finally got out and started walking straight to the back. But when I noticed the front door, the sticky note said something different on it this time. I walked up to the front door and looked closer. The note said, come in the front door this time, and then it had a smiling, winking face on it. I just dropped the pizza on the front step and knocked on the door two times and then left. I hurried back to my car, got in, and drove back to the restaurant again. Thankfully, I never had to deliver to that house again.